So boys and girls, it's Monday the 25th of March. I'm your host Thomas Adams and this is the Game Zone News Recap. Our top story of the day involves way, way, way too many things to even begin to mention. Over the last weekend, our crew of awesome guys flew all the way over to PAX East to bring you the latest and greatest previews of this year's upcoming games. Shown in the background at the moment, you can only see a fraction of the sheer amount of content that they've picked up ready to be downloaded directly into your brains. So go ahead and click the link below and check out what's due out later on this year and beyond. In other news, the much-loved Assassin's Creed franchise has released a brand new trailer for the Black Flag. During the trailer, we learn about the pirate who is trained by assassins while seeing some pretty nice visuals and lots of sharks and boats exploding and killing various things. While I may not be the hugest fan of Assassin's Creed, so don't hate me for that, I can only imagine how excited and a little skeptical some fans must be about this upcoming Assassin's Creed game. With last week's news about Battlefield 4 and the upcoming game play trailer that should be due out soon enough, it would appear that someone has already decided to go ahead and leak some press assets that show us some of the pre-order bonuses and saying that the game will actually be available fall 2013. Don't get me wrong, I love Battlefield and I I'm really am looking forward to Battlefield 4, but come on EA, just take a little extra time developing it ready for next year. You don't need to compete with Call of Duty, all you need to do is take the time to create a wonderful multiplayer game ready for the masses to consume. If you're a good game it will sell itself whether or not it is released at the same time or in the same style as whatever is most popular at the moment. Our next bit of news has been sweeping the internet like a hawk. The recently announced DuckTales Remastered, that is a HD version of the original NES game, features the complete original voice actors including Scrooge McDuck aka Mr. Alan Young who is actually 93 years old. Someone asked on the official Capcom forums whether the cast would be the original so Capcom went ahead and said the following. We have all the original voice actors from the show and of course this includes the voice of Scrooge McDuck who still came into the studio and did his thing like a pro. Now my faith in this slightly shady Capcom has been restored but only for now. Our last story of the day involves the awesome game Borderlands 2. Now despite being quite old in today's standards, it has not stopped Gearbox from announcing a brand new class set for release sometime during this May and his name is Krieg the Psycho. It would appear by the character art that he may well be a melee class and the good news does not stop there because set for April 2nd, the level cap should be raised to level 61 and you will have the ability to actually go through the game a third time. Now I just love Gearbox for supporting Borderlands, just, they just constantly make DLC. And of course non Monday is complete without mentioning this week's upcoming game. Yes, that is right, I said game and not games, because there should only be one game on your mind, and that is of course a Bioshock Infinite. Now we only have a few hours left until this game is finally released after being delayed two to three times, having all sorts of things happening on its development cycle so hopefully this game will come out and everyone will just be raging and I have said I have read some like the little reviews from some people and I just man it, everything is just pointing towards this game being absolutely awesome and I cannot wait to get my hands on this game remember that you can check out the latest news on www.gamezone.com I have been your sexy voiced host Thomas Adams and this has been the news recap